Hi, I'm Joe English, and I'm at Event Tech in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I talk with Google's Chris Tillman about designing events with data. Chris, thanks for joining us. Hey, no problem. Glad to have you. We're here in Event Tech in Las Vegas, seeing lots of cool technology. Oh yeah, it's very exciting. How does, as a technology company, how do you approach, how do you bring technology into events, and how does that shape the event themselves? Well, coming from the IT and networking side, uh, where I work out of, um, it's actually really interesting because the technology has become so critical to the function of the event. You know, at the most basic level, you know, we have lighting and sound and everything that we've always traditionally had. Sure. But now we have networking, we have demos, we have video walls, we have all sorts of things that rely on connectivity. Um, and in order to be able to deliver that, we have to get the information that we need to know what it's going to take to do that. Um, so by tying all these things together, by delivering connectivity, we actually open up a lot of avenues for getting information about your event, getting information about your attendees, and kind of figuring out how they're engaging with your events and how you can improve your event experience for the next time or even sometimes in real time to deliver uh, a better event for them. So you're watching what they're doing, kind of listening to to, to what's happening at the event? Yes, in a way. I mean, we, you know, we have uh, kind of constant network monitoring going on because we want to make sure there's no problems, we want to see how things are flowing. And kind of through the course of that, what we learned is we could actually observe the various things that were happening at the event watching, say, the bandwidth graphs uh, on our Wi-Fi network. We'd be like, oh, it looks like everybody broke for lunch because the bandwidth just shot right up, everybody got back on. Or, oh wow, I guess the speaker is not super engaging because everybody is on their phone sending email and you see that, that graph creep back up. So kind of it was sort of a natural progression. We started to see that the things we were watching just in executing our job to deliver technology for the event were actually, A, showing us something sort of directly about how the audience was engaged and B, kind of opening up the ability to take that a little further go a little deeper and be able to leverage that with things like mobile apps, with things like audience polling, Q&A, live, to engage the audience and also be able to reach out and grab that information where it's at with the attendees. Yeah. So when I asked that question, I said you're watching the, the people, right. but we're not really watching them from the perspective of spying on them. Right? No, I mean, obviously, and we want to we be careful about Google that. Google yeah. is in a position of trust for millions and millions of users, and we take right. that very seriously. I mean, but even down to the level of, you know, we're throwing a small launch event or, or we're hosting some YouTube creators for this thing. We take it very seriously from our end, even just at the, the basic level. We, we work very hard to, A, ensure that anytime someone is uh, going to be using something like a mobile app where they're going to be taking actions that actually are being observed in a way in aggregate so that we can learn about their engagement with the event. You know, those sort of things are very important to have opt-in. We never want to be gathering information about a specific person if A, they don't know we're doing it, and B, they haven't given us their permission to do it. So consent is obviously kind of critical when it comes to what we're observing people doing at events and obviously in general. Um, but what we found is it's not so important to look at the individual user, we having, having to avoid it. Uh, we discover most of the things that actually matter tend to happen kind of in aggregate, happen all together with lots of users at once. So when a speaker is not engaging or when a speaker is very engaging, the audience tends to respond all at once. So we're able to learn a lot just by looking at things in aggregate without having to drill down to that level of detail. So what kind of information would you collect about an event? Sure. Um, well, if I've mentioned the bandwidth usage, which can be useful. Um, some other things we can do, we can look in aggregate at the portion of the traffic that, say, goes to social media or the portion that's using web services or streaming. So we can get a rough idea without having to know exactly who was visiting what or doing what, what kinds of things they were doing as a group at that time or over the course of the event. So if we're having an event and one of kind of the elements is, oh, we want everybody to take a photo and upload it with this hashtag, if we're able to see, you know, okay, yeah, we're getting a lot of, of you know, photo uploads, a lot of media being uploaded upstream, we know, okay, people are doing that, that's great. This content is engaging and they're doing what we're asking them to do. 